So what's going on guys, welcome to my tutorial on Adobe Illustrator CC. I'm going to show you guys how to create some 3D shapes and also show you some symbols in Illustrator. So I'm going to select the ellipse tool and we're going to create a circle. The next thing I'm going to do is create another layer and then I'm going to draw a circle. Now that we have two shapes, we're going to select both of them. We're going to go to Window and then we're going to select Pathfinder. In the Pathfinder, you have this option called Minus Front. So we're going to select that and then once we select the shape, that circle is cut out. And then we're going to draw another shape behind it with a different color just to show that it actually worked. So there you see that the shape does have a circle cut out in the middle. Now I'm going to delete this layer. Now we're going to go to Effect, select 3D, and then select Extrude and Bevel. There's a lot of different options over here. I'm going to leave it like this and just select OK. And right away you have a 3D shape. So we're going to select Gradient over here. So that's a pretty quick way to cut out a shape and also make it 3D. So one more thing I want to show you guys is web icons in Illustrator. And this is something Adobe provides. And this is really convenient when you're working on a website. So I'm going to go to Window and then we we'll select Symbols. And then over here in the menu we have Web Buttons and Bars. Now what you'll see is a bunch of elements that you can use on a website. And even if you want to apply a 3D effect to this, it's vector graphics so you can. So we can go to Effects, select 3D, Extrude and Bevel, and we can apply this also. And this is really cool from Illustrator because what they're doing is they're providing graphics to you guys so you can use on your website or any other project. And I'm really impressed with what Adobe is doing with this software. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.